So here you can see the print that came out and I put it on with a raft. 0.3 millimeters per layer and 7% infill. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. And I took the support material off earlier and it removed, came off really nice, quickly. And so it looks like on the bottom piece. So not too bad at all. Pretty smooth and up on the top layers above the support material, everything came out really nice. So here's the second print. I'm really happy with it. This was uh, printed right on the bed with no raft. Nice and smooth. Some support material here. And I've been peeling it off. You can see over here what it looks like without the support material. Detaches really nicely. This is using the Idea Maker slicer. And one thing I didn't like about it is that I selected, uh, I think it's called Brim. It's called skirt in other slicers. And the skirt actually is fused, it touches the actual object. So it's not offset at all, which was kind of surprising. It does break off, but it doesn't break off as cleanly as I would like. I actually wouldn't prefer if it doesn't even touch. But anyways, that's kind of a, it's not a huge deal, but that's a setting uh, in the slicer software that I can turn off, which I did. And that means I'll have a nice clean edge on the next print. But overall, it looks pretty good. This is again PLA, 0.3 height layer. Um, and it feels good, nice and smooth and accurate. And overall, very pleased with the print. So here's a combination print uh, PLA for support material. And... TPU for TPU and it actually came out really nice really pleased with the uh, quality of the print you can see the bottom really smooth and the uh, PLA seems to break off quite easily so I like that and it's leaving a really nice uh, underside where the support was it took a really long time to figure out the settings on idea maker to get this combination of support material and TPU and it's just got a pretty bad user interface in my opinion uh, I can't find where to set the extruder extruder 1 or 2 for the solid fill I can find it for the support material but I can't find it for the solid fill and uh, somehow I've gotten it to work a couple times but I'm not sure how I even got it to work so I'm having trouble repeating that. Uh, otherwise the slicer seems to be doing a pretty nice job. But just like uh, some of the other slicers out there, the user interface and the UX is not very pleasant. But really great print from the E2. Happy with it. Here's another example with TPU. And this one has no support material. And uh, again, really smooth on the bottom. And overall, a really nice print. Here's another example of, uh, but this one's with um, PLA. That's a shoe last. And uh, I paused the print because it was getting tall enough for my needs. And I really didn't need to print more. You can see the, uh, the infill there. I think it's about 8%. But overall, really nice print. It has support material too. It's a little bit rougher on the bottom but uh, did the job, looks pretty good. And this was printed at uh, 0.3 millimeter layer height, as were the TPU prints. So overall, really pleased with the print quality. Not so happy with the UX design in Idea Maker. Uh, a little confusing, but overall, the 3D printer is doing a pretty great job.